hello queens and welcome back for another chat with queen video thank you guys so 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 much for all of your continual love and support all of your likes all of your comments all of your shares across all of your favorite social media handles and i forgot to announce you guys that we are finally over 1k so yes and i'm so excited um i hit this milestone probably like a couple weeks ago well we actually hit the milestone because without you guys it wouldn't even be possible so thank you guys so much to all of my recent subscribers my newbies my ogs my ride or dies those of you that have been with me since the beginning of this journey in 2014 i love you guys and i just thank you so 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 much because without you it wouldn't even be possible so cheers to a 1k i was about to say 100k but we're gonna go ahead and put that out there so let's get up to 100k we got this we can do this and i'm just so excited that i'm able to come on to a platform to where i can actually inspire other women of color and just women period across the board to just fully embrace who they are whether it be on their natural hair journey through self-love um through just self-care and just through motivation and inspiration through lifestyle and even some beauty content as well so i just thank each and every one of you for whatever reason that you decide to stay here and join the community and to continue to return time at the time at the time that i upload i thank you so so much all right so today's video is talking about when you feel like quitting have you ever felt like quitting who hasn't felt like quitting we all have felt like quitting at some point in time in our life whether it be with our job our classes our schools our kids um just some form of test or trial tribulation whatever the situation may be it has been some point in your life where you may have felt like just quitting just throwing in the towel and just saying forget it just just fuck it all and i mean we've all been there but i'm here to tell you that quitting is not an option you know why because if you quit you're never going to make it to the damn finish line so quitting is not an option it never will be so go ahead and just knock that out of there quitting is not an option okay quitting is not an option <laughs> all right so one of my tips for when you feel like quitting is to remember your why why did you even start what made you even decide to even have an interest in it what even led you on this path just why what is your why and i know for me my why has changed especially here for my platform over on youtube my initial why for my youtube channel was to document my natural hair journey and i've shared this numerous times i probably say it almost in every single natural hair video that i share with you guys i first started to do the journey i was following other women who were inspiring me and helping me to learn about my own hair before i even went fully natural because i transitioned and then i went fully natural in april of 2015 and so that just inspired me to just document my journey because I wanted to be able to look back, to see the growth, to see the changes, to see the progress, to see what worked, what didn't work, and so on and so forth. But my why changed over the last couple of years. And like I just stated, um, I'll be coming up on my four-year anniversary of being here on YouTube in November this year, 2018. So yay! And my why for me now is to be a motivation and inspiration to women of color to just discover their inner queen to appreciate who they are to fully embrace who they are and where they are on their journey because so many of us compare ourselves to other people that we see on social media sites and so on and so forth that you will often lose the vision as to why you even started or who you are or what it is that you're trying to even become in this world so my why for my youtube platform is simply this to help empower women of color to discover the queen who is she within me within themselves and so in turn that form of self-love will actually help you to even just dig deeper and discover who you really are as an individual so that is my why now so i just find that when you revisit your why and you just continue to check in with with that why it just helps to reinforce and to motivate you even further as to whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish to begin with so always remember your why and refer back to it okay so a second tip when you feel like you're when you feel like you're wanting to quit <laughs> is have you checked in with yourself lately have you thought about that like have you honestly taken the time to check in with you lately like have you checked in with you lately yes you queen have you checked in with you lately and I mean, it's just natural for us, especially those who are givers, just naturally to forget about yourself, to check in with you, to make sure that you're not depleting your energy, that you're taking care of your health, your physical health, internal health, your mental health, just your overall well-being. 
Like, have you checked in with yourself? Because sometimes that's why you feel like quitting because you're just so run down. You haven't checked in with yourself. You haven't given yourself that slow down moment, that pump your brakes, let me sit down, read a book, have a cup of tea like I'm having right now, you know, or to just go have a nice, hot, simple meal somewhere at your favorite restaurant. Like, have you checked in with you lately? Because when you're burnt out, you're going to feel like quitting. <laughs> And that's because you've given all of your energy out to wherever it has been directed to. And you haven't directed none of that energy back to yourself. So, honey, remember that. Remember to check in with yourself and do it as frequent as possible. And for me personally, I do it every single day, all damn day long. Like, And that has really helped with even my anxiety and depression. And so just check in with me. See, how am I doing? Am I tired? Am I sleepy? Do I need to drink some water? Do I need to hydrate myself? Do I need to put on some chap? stick just anything like have you checked in with yourself lately and when you start doing that and taking account and just actually making it a point to check in with yourself on a daily basis and to make it a habit to do so i'm telling you you won't feel like quitting at all or you won't feel like quitting as frequently because you're constantly checking in with yourself to make sure that you are okay at the end of the day all right so when you feel like quitting another tip that i have as well you guys is to set many goals towards your large larger ones this can be applied to any aspect of your life believe that okay and I know one for me is specifically <laughs> is college like oh my gosh like and naturally when you go to college you're like okay I'm gonna say this class this class this class this class this class this semester that semester that semester and then I'm gonna get to here and then I'm gonna get to here and I'm gonna get to here so you set many goals for yourself to get to the larger ones so each semester you set a goal to take so many classes and then the goal is to pass those small either three to four classes each semester so that way when you go for the next term that you'll stay in that you'll stay you know in your um, requirements for getting your financial aid your pill or your student loan and to ensure that you will be able to continue to enroll into the next class that you need to so that way when time finally arrives you'll be graduating so when you set many goals that will keep you from wanting to just quit so fast because when you go into something that's so big and then you don't break it down it just seems like something that's just gonna just just weigh you down and just like just keep you from just it just seems unattainable set many goals for yourself it's okay if you don't just dive right in and just tackle every single thing on your list. Set small goals, whether it be two-week goals or a weekly goal, a daily goal, bi-weekly goal, however it will work for you in your particular situation. But set many goals. And I guarantee that will keep you from feeling so stressed out, so anxious. It will make you, you know, not feel like, oh my gosh, I'm just so all over the place. Did I miss anything? Like, no. Set the many goals that will add up to your larger goal so again a good example is getting your college degree take so, take so many classes each semester pass your classes and then before you know it you're gonna graduate it's <laughs> simple <laughs> so my number four for when you feel like quitting when you feel like you are wanting to quit the game and just jump ship no we're not gonna do that my number four is to find gratitude in every single challenge that you face now I know that could be a lot easier said than done. Oh, wait a minute, Queen. Now you tell me to be positive in my negative-ish. Like, yes, honey. And I know that can be hard, but believe me, it has so many benefits when you can find the positive during any kind of negative circumstance. Like, for an example, I'm just going to use school again. Just say you apply for a program or you register for a class to take that semester and you so happen you your funds didn't come through to pay for it or you wasn't approved to take the class because you didn't satisfy another course or something like that don't get down don't look at that as being negative look at that as being a positive light and saying well okay I may not be able to take that class this semester or my funds may not have came through this semester to get my textbooks or so on and so forth. Look at the issue at a positive light, in a positive light, I should say, because prime example for me, it was plenty of semesters I didn't have money to pay for my textbooks. Did I get down? No. What did I do? I researched. I went to see how much the book cost. I went to see if I could possibly check it out at a public library, at my own college library, so that way I can refer to it 
for the semester and one of my classes I actually did that I was able to check a book out well actually a few semesters I was actually able to check out textbooks that were a part of the course and that saved me money when I didn't have the money so versus me being negative and being like oh damn well I'm in the class but I ain't got no textbooks so how the hell am I supposed to pass the class honey I'm gonna be positive about the situation because I know that there where there is a will that there is a way and so when you just decide to just change your feelings from just being negative instantaneously to being positive I'm telling you that's a habit that you can that will help you in any situation because again not every situation is going to be good but again too you're going to have those negative ones and sometimes it can be hard again to find a positive in a negative light but you have to be the light in the dark honey so don't be negative don't be a Debbie Downer try to find a positive try to see where you can maneuver around the situation and what you can do in the meantime but don't ever 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 look at a negative situation as it just being negative always always try to find a positive and then to just continue pushing forward do not quit so another one for when you feel like quitting is to pray and meditate on God and honestly and true I should have said that one first but of course when I make a list nothing's ever in order <laughs> so yes you want to pray and meditate on God like honey if you don't have no source if you don't if you don't have a belief or a creator or whatever you would like to put a name to it <sighs> meditate something but for me going to God meditating on the word praying to God having that alone time to be able to clear out all that extra clutter that I may have in my head a lot of times keeps me from throwing in the towel because I'm putting my faith back in God, my faith is being restored, and I'm being reassured again, and I'm remembering my why. And then praying and expressing gratitude all in the same time through prayer, I'm telling you, it will help you to keep you from quitting. It will help you from wanting to throw in the towel because, again, it's life. Days can be a lot harder than others, and a lot of us will just simply just throw in the towel. We're just like, forget it because. We don't want to have to go through the hardships in order to get to the other side. And sometimes those hardships are necessary. But when you pray and you meditate on God, I'm telling you, you have on all that armor. So you won't get beaten down as bad when you're going through the battle. And you won't feel like quitting. So pray, meditate on God, read a couple of scriptures, find a find a specific book out the word that you enjoy that you feel speaks to you like let god speak to you like literally take that time out in the morning you guys know i always get up in the morning get myself at least 30 minutes to an hour to myself to be with me and god and to pray and to meditate and get myself together before i just jump right into the day and give myself to other people because when you start your day without god you're gonna always feel like quitting okay because you didn't put your arm on before you left the house so you might want to hop on that. <laughs> so this, yes, 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 yes. Definitely, definitely make sure that you are praying and meditating on the word of God or whatever your creator or your belief may be. But I'm telling you, pray and believe, meditate. It helps a whole lot. And then my last one for when you feel like quitting is to revisit the plan, revisit your original plan and revise it. A lot of times why we feel like quitting is because our plans didn't go as planned. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there. I've been there a few times and probably will continue to be there going forward. I mean, no one's perfect and no plan is perfect. And I feel like if you leave room for change or if you're open to change, then when things happen and don't go as planned, then you won't feel as um I don't know you just won't feel as let down when things don't go as planned because you're leaving you know the door open for other possibilities you know and uncertainties but you have to be able to to revisit the plan to you know take away what didn't work and probably add some things in that will actually work better than the original plan so don't ever feel afraid to revisit your plan if it didn't go as originally planned because originally for me when I was going to go to college I was going to be a nurse <laughs> and y'all know I'm not a nurse <laughs> and then I was going to be a cosmetologist but y'all know I'm going back to school for that now and that's like what we, I've been out of high school for like almost 10 years now <laughs> so yeah and that's been some time and then um I joined the military I did that I was an HR specialist and then after that I while being in the reserves for about eight years I did other multiple job duty tasks things as well and then I was originally in my first time in college I was actually going for psychology changed that and then I finally started going for my office administration and management which I have my AAS in now for the last few years so 
plans always change and so you just have to be able to roll with the punches and be able to allow yourself to revisit the plan make those necessary changes take away add away and then continue going because as long as you continue going then you'll learn more about yourself as to what things work for you and what they don't work for you and what other avenues you could have visited and if you didn't visit it then then you may be able to visit it later on on a future plan or project think about it that way so never quit always think of all the endless possibilities that you have before just necessarily just throwing it in and just saying fuck it like no don't just give up so easily and i know a lot of people tend to just do that because it's just easier to give up versus just trying to stick with it and to just press through which is a lot harder but i'm telling you even though you're quitting may seem easy in the long haul it's hurting you and it just hasn't done any good whatsoever so again my six tips for when you feel like quitting number one is to remember your why number two is have you checked in with yourself lately <laughs> number three is to set many goals leading up to your larger goals and number four is to find gratitude in any negative situation because again everything is not as bad as it may seem number five is to pray and definitely meditate on god on the word on your creator on your source whoever you believe in pray and meditate and definitely make sure that you have that relationship so that way you're able to get through any kind of situation that you may be going through because you cannot do it alone and then number six is to revisit the plan and revise it as necessary because again things change daily nothing is set in stone and once you are open to things just being as they may and knowing that things may change along the way and being positive with that as well i'm telling you you won't be as negative you won't feel like you're wanting to quit because you know why you're in a positive light <laughs> so queens i hope you guys enjoyed my little chat today with this chat with queen series again these are six things that i do when i feel like quitting and i hope that some of you may actually have benefited from it or some of you may actually do the same things that i do i don't know let me know down in the comment sections down below by chatting it up with me so we can get a conversation going because who else feels like quitting sometimes we all do i'm even guilty of it i mean some days i just don't want to do it at all but somehow some way i just pull myself together and i do it because i know quitting is just really not going to help me in the end so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video queens definitely 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 make sure that you are subscribed down below make sure that you're a part of the notification game by hitting that bell so you can be notified when i upload new content here on my youtube channel and sound off down below on the 1k you guys thank you so so much i love each and every one of you queens and i will see you guys in my next upload bye you guys Mwah!